If you're looking to break out the cowboy hat and boots, why not head to the 36th annual Hamill Rodeo underway now at the Corcoran Lions Park. Along with being the largest rodeo in the state, it's also a huge fundraiser that's raised more than $1.6 million for the Ooh. community. Yeah. Giddy up with that, Ruth Nicholas <laughs> from the Hamill Rodeo. We also have Wild West. Uh, Rider, uh, cowboy, your cowboy, yeah, Rider Kiss. You try to be. It they, looked like it. You were doing. That's impressive job. at the break. We'll see more tricks from Rider in just a minute. There you go. There okay. it is. Ruth, tell us how the <laughs> Hamble Rodeo got started. Got started 36 years ago as a volunteer deal, and now it's a fundraiser for those four organizations in the Hamill area, and it's all put on by volunteers. No paid employees really? for the whole thing. Wow. Yep. It is a huge event too. My my uh, sons were out there last year and just absolutely loved it. It's a lot. Yeah. Of, it's a lot of fun. Absolutely. We'll see 17,000 people over That's five amazing. days. That's amazing. And Ryder, I, I'm so impressed by what you were doing before we went into break, and then I come up here and you're you're kind of scaring me a little bit. You're I'm saying scary. don't you're be gonna, scared. You're going to do a demonstration in a minute. You're saying like, oh, don't move or or they're could be some. You, you want to do it? I think Let's just do it. it. I right think now? we should do it right now. Yeah. I think so I'm going to get out of the way. No big deal. But All right, you ready? Are you, okay. You'll be just fine, Kylie. Just don't move. Don't. Oh! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Don't move. Okay. <laughs> hey! Come on. That was what great. was that? I don't even know what it was. <laughs> you uh, looked Ooh. horrified. I mean. I couldn't see what was happening. I just hear all these noises around me. Yeah, you did a good job. Oh, thank you. Okay, I didn't get hurt, so that was good. Roping. What, <laughs> what would we call that, Ryder? Was that, that was whip cracking. Whip okay. cracking. I do uh, trick roping, whip cracking, gun spitting, and at the rodeo, I also do fire whips. So what's your background? I mean, how did you become a cowboy? Well, I'm fifth generation horse trainer. My grandpa actually lives up here training cool. horses. I kind of grew up watching all the Roy Rogers, Gene Autry movies, yeah. and I, I wanted to be a cowboy and a showman and stuff, so I started doing all this. and. Fell in love with it. And that's the thing, Ruth. The rodeo is really, it, it is solid entertainment and great for the family, right? It's like a slice of Americana. You know, yeah. you bring your kids out, your grandkids out, you have a good time, yeah. you're out under the stars, and yeah, it's fun. And you, you said four organizations were helping one of yes. the four? Yes. The VFW Post, the Hamill Volunteer Fire Department, the Legion, and the Lions Club in Hamill. 1.6 million spread four ways, and you're having fun at the rodeo, but you're making the world a little bit better place. Nice. Fantastic. Do you have a favorite memory that comes out of the rodeo? Oh, I mean, like last night, I got to go out there with my little brother. He's sitting second in the Sal Bronc riding. He's sitting about 35th in the world right now. Wow. Uh, honestly, one of the coolest deals I ever did. I worked the Wrangler NFR the last four years, and he cracked fire whips at the NFR with me. And so last year, that was one of the best memories I have of rodeo. Very cool. All right, we want to give you the information. It's the 36th year Hamill Rodeo running through Sunday at Corcoran Lions Park. Just go to WCCO.com slash links for event okay. and ticket information. He's grabbed more rope. All right, There's what are we going to do, Ryder? Here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I know. Kylie okay. is very afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid? You didn't have whips cracked around you. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no fool. I moved the hat. Look at that. I moved that. Do you wonder how many meteorologists he went through before he got that whip cracking trip, right? Like, <laughs> That's right. You're like, hey, I was like, oh, I got it, got it. Sometimes you got to sacrifice a meteorologist. <laughs> it's all, all for the entertainment.